Get reporting statistic. Peter Buswell with uh, Dr. VOIP with another video cheat sheet. And uh, this one's pretty exciting. I like this get reporting statistic uh, icon. The get reporting statistic step in your library of uh, Java beans in your scripting editor will enable you to Report to the caller the current wait time, their position in queue, estimated wait time. There's a variety of real-time data, sometimes displayed on a supervisor's uh, screen. We can access that data in the scripting tool, which is very exciting. Um, I don't. Uh, I've, I've worked with other scripting tools for other telephone systems, and. Uh, What's exciting here is that I can get at the very data that's going to be uh, streaming to uh, supervisor displays, for example. I can use that to control call flow in my uh, UCCX script. I can also uh, focus on some reporting objects. Um, I can focus on outbound campaign dialing, the overall UCCX environment, or I can look at a particular uh, queue within the CCX. If I were looking at outbound uh, campaign dialing, I could look at the number of calls that uh, we attempted, how many were accepted, rejected, how many actually resulted in uh, contact with a, a human voice, uh, uh, how many ended up uh, talking to an answering machine, invalid numbers, the, the list goes on. It's a very powerful uh, data library of real-time information that you can tap into. If you were looking at the overall UCCX environment, you could uh, count how many queues were in the system, how many total logged-in resources there were, who was talking, ready resources, not ready resources, um, uh, reserve resources, total contacts, uh, total waiting, the oldest contact in queue, uh, handled, uh, abandoned, timed out. Just, uh, again, a very rich uh, depository of real-time data that you can uh, use this uh, icon to retrieve and focus uh, your call flow. Uh, we're going to take a look at how a particular CSQ in the contact center. Uh, we're going to look at the various uh, data fields available to us. Uh, we could look at expected wait time, the position in queue, the longest talk time, oldest contact in queue. Again, rich, rich library of data. The one I'm going to focus on, however, uh, in our scripting example is logged in resources. And I'll also take a look at expected wait time very powerful uh, elements and you can use these um, to affect your call flow. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. UCCX scripting. This um, clip assumes you know something about the editor. I'm not going to waste any time going over the various palettes. We do that in some other videos. There's a whole series on the website. This uh, clip is specifically about the Get Reporting Statistics icon. Uh, if you were to take a look at a very simple script, uh, like the uh, sample script that Cisco provides, you'll see that uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to accept the call. We're going to play a prompt. The welcome prompt is defined down here as a system prompt. Uh, we will then select a resource uh, based on what we've named as a CSQ uh, in our variables below. Uh, if there is an agent available, we'll connect it. If there isn't, we will queue. We will play a prompt. The queue prompt is uh, very straightforward. Again, we're using a system prompt for a customer care message. We're going to delay 
we're going to delay for 30 seconds and then we will continue to loop through here uh, until we can connect to an available resource. Uh, very simple. Uh, I think it's very straightforward and uh, you should see, however, that there's a problem here. Um, no, it's not that we don't play music on hold. The problem is, is that this script will, in fact, queue a caller to a resource pool in which there is nobody logged in. And that's what we want to avoid. And how we're going to avoid that is by using the uh, Git reporting statistic. So all I've done on the basic script is take the Git reporting statistic. I've dragged it here. Um, we've set up a few new variables down here, including a voicemail extension where we'll send the call if there are no agents uh, logged in. Uh, we've got uh, an integer uh, for the value of agents logged in, initially set to zero. And if you look at the properties of this icon, we're going to look at a specific CSQ as defined uh, below, and we're going to look for a particular field. Uh, as I said in the intro, there are many fields to choose from. I'm going to select two. One uh, is expected wait time, which I'll show you in a second, but right now we're interested in logged in resources. So we're going to select that, and if the logged in resources are equal to zero, if that's a true statement, we're going to set the contact as handle, play the closed wave, and then redirect the caller to the voicemail extension. And uh, this will keep us from putting a caller into a queue that may be open, but in fact there are no agents logged in. That would be a dangerous thing to do. In the event that that uh, value here is greater than zero, then this will be false and we will fall out uh, to a subflow routine. The sub subflow routine, uh, I've, I've brought it up over here so you can see it, actually again falls into um, a script that makes use of the get reporting statistics, but in this case what we're going to do is use the field called expected wait time. And we'll, we'll um, assign that value to a variable defined below and then begin to uh, format that time uh, for see if it is, uh, if there is an expected wait time. And then we do some formatting here to uh, round it up, round it down, figure out if it's uh, uh, greater than an hour. <laughs> and if, if it's true, we uh, will set some additional variables here in terms of uh, trying to get very specific uh, with respect to the amount of time they're going to wait. I generally don't like uh, to tell people how long they'll be waiting because uh, it's never accurate. Um, I don't care if it's Cisco Shortel or anyone else, the expected wait time is, is never good and all we do is really aggravate people. The goal here, however, was to show you the use of the get reporting statistic. And in this instance here, back at our main script, we call a <clears throat> subroutine or subflow that looks at the expected wait time, formulates the time, speaks the time, um, and then heads back over to the main script. Um, and we go forward and select our resource. So uh, if the resource is available, we connect. If not, um, we will <clears throat> cue the call. Here we've also um, added some music on hold. So the difference between this and the basic script is that we play a customer care message, put the caller on hold for a period of time. Uh, while they're on hold, they'll hear uh, music. Uh, we unhold them and then repeat the cue until such time. So that's how we would handle <clears throat> no agents logged in and 
expected wait time using the very powerful Get Reporting Statistics. I hope you have found this informative, and I thank you for viewing.